Hello, I'm Kevin Myers. Limerick is not a lady. Unless, of course, your idea of a lady is one who's awash with gun crime, scobies, gangland figures who stick up their fingers at the media, and who, even if she won 115 million euro in the lotto, would still end up with Dolores McNamara's haircut. And, to top it all off, is represented by the 19,000 votes for a person who has a face like a joke shop disguise. Sadly, Limerick is such a place, and Willie O.D. such a face. It is this to which we owe our latest linguaphone experience, how to speak Limerick ease, with demonstrations by Minister O.D. and translations by myself. Listen, one. Come here, I want you. The most popular term in Limerick, come here, I want you, meaning please approach for conversation. Fine Grail is an awful gang of leches. Offensive slang term expressing extreme dislike of egregious persons. Where the hell did I put my techies? I appear to have lost my shoes. Me tongue is as dry as an Arab's techie. Derivative of the above, here demonstrating that one is so dehydrated that one's mouth is as parched as the footwear of a person of Middle Eastern extraction. How's it going, Sham? Hello there, my friend. Sham being an extremely popular term in Limerick for no apparent reason. A boy the kid. A boy the kid, Sham. Similarly, a boy the kid is an implausible phrase meaning simply hello, but it's often also used to encourage and foment increased violence in the highly likely event of a physical altercation. He is a right schmear, that fellow. That person is a bothersome fellow, a social nuisance, if you will. No, 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 he was just flousing me. He did not intend to cause offence, he was merely engaged in innocuous horseplay. Be wide for the shades, Sham, they're above in Dyland. Beware of the shades, that is to say, on Gardashir Corner, as members of the force are present in the St Mary's Park area. That fellow above in the hills an awful ass biscuit. The fellow who resides in the South Hill district is of limited or low intellect. Come here and I tell you a question. Please approach me for the purpose of being inflicted with the hiding of a lifetime. Sham, who's cracked a window? Sham, who has excreted the methane gas? Idest, who has farted? He might as well be looking into a field of tissues. That particular person is averse to manual labour and is useless even at the most menial activities. After Hoach for Lent, I am in my hall, dot I.E. Oh yes, this is the popular modern term for dismissing the likelihood of an action such as abstaining from alcohol for any period, most especially the Lenten one. Oh, I've a head on me like a bag of teddies. I'm suffering the after-effects of excessive alcohol consumption, that is to say, a hangover. Take that now. He'll get up on a cracked plate. He is an extremely lascivious and lecherous male. Oh, oh, she is fond of the fellow who runs with the hens. She's a promiscuous female who is excessively devoted to a part of the male anatomy, which is also a term for a rooster. Jesus, oh, you're an awful wear. Similar to Latchy, a person who's aware is undesirable. Forget about him, sure, he's all the time thrown a forgery. The gentleman is especially prone to sudden bursts of ill temper or hissy fits. A by the kid. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Willie, we've already done that one. Sham, come here, I you. Um, Who are you to tell me what we've done or haven't done? No, I merely want to avoid duplications of translation. You're a fickin' ass biscuit, Myers. We've done that one as well. You're aware. Oh, why does this always have to happen to me? I'm not afraid of you, you know. You're a big prick. Why do you always have to start fights, Willie? That's what you have. Well, a big prick. Well, I think you're a big what? prick as well, you latchy. What? You can't say that. A boy the kid. You fickin' prick. You big prick. Hey, that's my word. A boy the kid.